And when you dig into this Bible and look into who's doing all the killing, you discover that the God of the Bible, which is not the creator of the universe, is the one doing all the killing. Unfortunately, that's the case. And so the true demon, the true darkness, the true dark night, the, the true uh, evil and, and um, malice is coming from the one that you're dropping on your knees and crying to every night. <laughs> you have to understand what you are doing. If you're going to base your entire eternity on one book and never really research it, never read every single word, word for word, and go back and research it and break down the context and look at different perspectives and find out where the original text and information came from. If you're not going to do that, then that means you really don't care about this God that you could, you, you, you claim you love. What's happening is you want self-preservation. You don't want to die in this lake of fire. And so what you're doing is going through the motions and you're hoping that you do just enough of the motions to make it in. You just skate right on. And I just skate right on in there. Right. But in true reality, what you're doing is you're lying to yourself and everyone else. Because you don't love somebody you love. You Look, I, you know what that person's favorite color is. You know what they what kind of perfume or cologne they like. You know what they like to wear. You know what they where they like to go on trips and what they don't like and what they like to hear you say and what they don't. like. You know all this stuff about a person when you love them. You know, all their relatives, you know, the brothers and sisters, the uncles and aunts. Over time, you get to know everybody. Right. Well, some of you are 40, 50, 60 years old. You don't had all these years to know to learn all about this God you love and this Christ that you love. And you don't know nothing. You haven't even taken the energy, the time, and the effort to learn anything about this entity or these entities. You just have been listening to somebody stand behind the pulpit, screaming and sweating for a couple of hours. You throw your little change in the drawer. You read a couple of lines that they tell you to read and you read the same ones over and over and over again. And you look at these fake Bible study books that give these fantasy stories about two insects walking on and two deer walking on at a time and two ticks walking on at a time and, and, and two ants walked on at a time onto the boat and all this kind of craziness. And then you go, man, I did real good. Forgive me for my sins. Now I'm going to heaven. What that does is it allows you to take all your personal um, responsibility and push it out on something else that doesn't even exist. It allows you to, it allows you to divert your responsibility and, and don't have to answer for your own actions. That's the biggest problem with these religions. So what you do is you do all this crazy stuff and then you say, hey, you know what? I, I can do this. I can commit this quote unquote sin because all I got to do is beg for forgiveness. So now I go and I beg for my forgiveness. If you're Catholic, you got to pay some fee at this thing and then you can do all this stuff, go through these rituals and then you're good to go again. I'm fresh. I'm, I'm re I reset myself. I'm good to go. And then when you do something bad, you go, you know what? Satan, Satan made me do it. He whispered in my ear and he made me do this. This is the power of the devil. And now I got to do, I just got to beg for this forgiveness again. I'm reset. I'm reset all over again. And so this is a vicious cycle that happens. And so what you find yourself into this vicious cycle is this whole thing about putting off your own, accepting your own responsibility for your actions on some other outside deity source, never working on your inner self. And then and blaming the reason why you did it in the first place on some other entity. And this cycle happens throughout your entire life. And then you think you're going to die and go to this magical heaven. You've been fooled, man. You've been absolutely tricked. By Compendium of the Emerald Tablets by Billy Carson.